Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to one of the most hated decks in Hearthstone. Here with a mid-range Shaman deck. And maybe hate's a strong word. I think it's fair to say it's meta-defining right now. One of the most popular decks, I think, is fair to say about this one. Ooh, this is looking like a really bad opening hand by me here. But... And I think people are definitely working to kind of counter this deck in particular, basically. Um, I would kind of expect to see more hunters, I mean more warriors, which would then pull out more hunters, which then lets this deck in turn be better. So it's kind of that little circle of life right now going on in Hearthstone. And the ever, the ever popular priest we're running into here. Ooh, this could actually be a bad matchup if it's a really, really good control-y type of priest. I think this Shaman deck can match up if I don't get a good curve, if he's able to get some of his resources early, which he might be able to considering what I have in hand. Ooh, this is looking like a horrible start. Um, I'm not sure if I'm more worried about a Control Priest or if I am more worried about a, a Dragon Priest. I guess a Dragon Priest is more scary if they curve out perfectly. Oh, and that's scary for my opponent now. Can't play too much. Ooh, no circle and we win, right? Well, unless it just gets resurrected next turn. Then we're still in trouble. So yeah, if we just start eating tons and tons of resurrects, uh, we'll be in trouble. But if not, then hey, we're in business. Uh, I guess we would have some sort of answers to some of those plays, but... Yeah, Priest of the Feast, that's kind of not excellent for me either. Uh, how do we want to do this? We could go Flame Tongue Portal. Maybe not the best. I mean, I'd trade off one of these then, right? It's, yeah, it's just awkward with the six health right now is what I have to be working with. And I, I don't think I want to leave this. Not that the healing's an issue right now. I just I don't really think I want to be leaving much on board for my opponent. Oh, it's so awkward to have to trade like this and use a spell. Let's attack and then use a uh, portal first in the event that we get a charger. That's fine. And we could just get AoE down now, which would be kind of sad. But since we're not overlock overloaded, at locked out right now, I think we'd be okay. And I guess there is kind of, not that I would have considered it, but hexing something early. So that uh, the frog can kind of mess up all the resurrects. But I think in this matchup, if my opponent's playing a little bit of a heavier deck, we want to keep that hex for... Yeah. Yeah, see, now this is kind of scary, but we'll be able to punch through it this time. But actually, do we want a hex this time? Now we want a hex, right? We don't want two of these to die. So the question remains, how do we want to do this? Uh, I think we want to start toteming up. So we're going to totem and hex. I think is reasonable, leaving me with six mana next turn. If I need to coin out a Thunder Bluff Valiant, we can at that point. So I think we hex the 4-7. Um, again, it's so awkward with the damage and the health. and We just wasted damage. I really don't like that right now. Um, or should we throw down the 3-4? Which kind of helps a little bit more than what I have on board right now. I wonder. I wonder too. Let's just do this while we think. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think we can overload ourselves. I think that's four or five. Yeah, makes it a. Uh... Let's do this. Or do we want to save one of? Who do we want to save? I'll save spell power, right? Always saving spell power, and then super overkill the bishop. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I'd rather have a stronger board, and this and the totem golem is gonna survive all of all AOE, and who knows? Maybe, maybe it baits out a shadow or death if my opponent's really, really worried and doesn't have that much to play at all. Ooh, a shadow word pain, double pain. Okay, time to top deck. Oh, oh, my opponent's really looking to have a fatigue deck here, eh? Okay, I guess. Um, do we want to weapon up now? 
What are the chances that this crazy control deck has an ooze or a Harrison? Ooh, this would be so, so awkward if this gets Shadow or, pain or Death now. And there were two pains just played, so you never know, right? Okay, so with this being some sort of crazy control, that was obviously created by uh, Malchazar, right? Yeah, I think the, the key to winning is going to be a big Thunder Bluff Valiant turn. Yeah, this is fine. I'm very okay with this. Oh, we're in very good shape. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, do we want an AoE? Uh, if we roll a 4 here, we're in really good shape then, right? Yeah, I don't mind overloading. I think we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to use up a couple more resources here. Even this is fine. This is fine here. Um, I mean, the draws are cool, and I'll take the draws happily, but... Opponent's slowly running out of resources. And I just want to totem one more time. If I, if I can deal with whatever board gets played with what I have on board, that's kind of the ideal situation now, I think. Because then that way I'll just be able to Thunder Bluff, bunch to face. Oh, that's potentially terrifying. Oh, where are you now, Hex? Okay, so I have to take this one out and leave up the 1-1 one because... -one Oh, now we're looking at multiple turn lethals here. Um, I think I'm going to do something crazy. So I think I attack here. Oh, I get destroyed by Holy Nova now. How much damage can I do to face? This is 8, 10, 12. It's not enough. 12 is not enough. Okay, so I think I'll do this slowly then. I know this doesn't necessarily look slow. I can set him at 3 lower. I think I will. Um, Alec here is a nice solid 12. Next turn if I need it. Uh, this is 11. 12, 13, 14. I didn't think it would survive. Oh, he doesn't get any attack there. That's cool. Ooh. Oh, this is how you lose games. Okay. <clears throat> um, do we actually have it here or no? 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, 19. Oh, we're a little bit off. That is, that is sad. Um, both pains have been played though. So I can play Alec here. There's no Shrinkmeister Cabal anymore to worry about. So I can just clear his board. Hmm, that is correct. Hmm. And I could even do it with the Rockbiter and then leave this up. Actually, I could do it with the Rock Biter and then get six into face and leave it up. At one, so I mean an AoE takes it out. Actually, an AoE then really clears me. Although if I get spell power here, we're in really good shape because then I can fire elemental and attack in and attack in again. It just There's no guarantee I'm getting spell power at this point. 25%. Do we want to risk a 25%? I don't think we do. Um, okay, so we'll take this one out, right? I'll leave them both up at low hit points. If he has another AoE, well, he's almost out of cards anyways. Uh, maybe I was betting way too much on no AoEs. I'm assuming a really heavy control deck like this will have AoE. And if he does get, uh, what would be the worst? Baron Geddon is the worst right now? best top deck for me is going to be Flame Tongue Totem. Um, what else can I get that's good? I can need I need a healing. Although I need multiple turns of healing totems. I don't think I'm going to get that regardless of what happens in this game now. So that's what, 12, 13 on board? 14, 15, 16 from Fire, Fire Elemental in hand? Oh, that's a little rough. Can't be targeted by what? By spells or hero powers? Well, luckily we have Azure Drake. Um, okay, so now the question, uh, now the question, actually, no, I think this is no question. So there's two plays I, that I see right now. Uh, coin Fire Elemental, that does three and then I can hit with a six and then go six face. Or I can Tuscar in the middle here hoping to get Flame Tongue, which doesn't even help that much, and then Hero Power again, and then I'll do some sort of trading. 
Again, trade the Fire Elemental. Um, and then setting up for a Thunder Bluff turn next turn, because I'll have two Totems up, plus Alakir. I kind of like that. I kind of like the slightly slower play, and then I get to hold my Fire Elemental as well. Taunt Totem is fine. Ooh, I'm actually kind of low here. Although I'm not expecting too much in the way of burst from my opponent here. And if they don't clear, yeah, if, if my board doesn't get cleared, I'm gonna win for sure. This has been an interesting game. Very interesting idea to be bringing Control Priest like this. Okay, that's a win. That's fine. Well played. Okay, that was cool. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're climbing the ladder. If we have a little bit more time each month, I think I can be climbing the ladder a little bit better. But if you've been enjoying this, feel free to leave a comment and uh, like and subscribe and all that uh, cringy stuff that people say at the end of videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.